If you are not using journals to basically help uplift your higher self journey, your glow up journey, your spiritual journey, you need to start using journals. My name is Angela and here I create content about personal development, mental wealth, and basically the higher self journey that you should be on trying to become the best version of yourself. I have like beat everybody down to death on social media about journaling and but I really wanted to make an in-depth video basically just explaining the journals that I do have and how they help me. So the first journal that I started using was the five minute journal. I seen someone post about it. Um, I cannot remember who. And at first I was just like, ooh, like this is such a nice aesthetic. And that's what like got me to get it, you know, the first time. And but it's like a journal that basically helps you to start just thinking positively. And so journaling, and when you are journaling about certain things consistently, it's basically, you know, getting into your subconscious and then sub subconsciously you will start, you know, just doing those things and acting that way. So if you're writing down positive thoughts and, you know, you're being thankful and showing gratitude and, you know, doing your affirmations, anything like that, they're going to really like stick in your subconscious and they're going to start becoming a part of your everyday life. So with this journal, it does like explain how this works. It gives like the science behind it. It also, um, you know, explain, you know, how to use this journal and everything like that. And then they also have like, you know, little different challenges that you can do in here. And I love that they even give you like an example. So the first page is literally an example. And it's basically, well, uh, well, okay, the first page is basically like a, a example contract. So you would just fill in the blanks and basically you're doing a contract with yourself, just saying that you're gonna really stick to this and you're really gonna give it, you know, a go. And so basically you write in it in the daytime and in the nighttime. And it gives you like a nice quote in the beginning. It gives you your three prompts. And then for nighttime, it gives you two prompts, you know, for you to write. And um, it really works. You know, it's, it's really pretty. It really works. I, I mean, I love it. I think you guys should definitely purchase it. I have been using this for a while. Um, I do know they have different colors too, even if you want other colors as well. Now, the prayer mat for women. Um, this is more of a spiritual um, journal. And so it sometimes, of course, helps better if you are writing down, you know, your prayers when you're talking to God. Um, so the prompts that they have in here are, you know, what you're thankful for, what are you worried about, you know, the people that you want to pray for, um, things that you need or just things that's on your mind. And then it also gives um, a scripture and everything at the end. So I started using this with my daughter and it was really nice because it was just something that we would do at nighttime and like things that she wanted to basically pray for. And I felt like this journal really like helped her learn how to pray um, and helped her like, you know, kind of not only just talk about, you know, just what you need, you know, it just really kind of had a roadmap to help you basically talk to God. Um, so this is really nice. I got this from my church store, but this is on Amazon. So you have the link at the bottom. Another book is um, Shadow Journaling. So there are so many different types of shadow journals and things like that. I have one, it's called Let That Sh Go. Um, it's basically about like just getting out of your mind, getting out of your mind and I guess just not beating yourself up kind of. So they have funny prompts too in this journal. Um, I love it. And so I'll give you an example. So one is, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna give you an example of what I did, not what I didn't do yet. Something short and, short and sweet. So one quick example, it says, look where you're going, not where you've been. Um, so it says the most influential mantra of my adult life was, was invented because I bumped into a lot of sh as a child. <laughs> So basically it's just saying like stop dwelling on the past so it wants you to it says what are some of the things you want to see on the road ahead basically telling you to like focus on you know the road ahead in the future and of course you writing that out it's getting you motivated 
And of course, they gave you some funny background stuff to kind of just, you know, shake off your nerves and get you in more of a positive light and start writing. So this really is more just, like I said, like just, you know, mental health work. Um, I do this when I am frustrated. So this really helps when I am frustrated. And I'm just like, you know what? Like, what was I even mad for? You know? So I really like this book. Next, I have my to-do planner. So of course, this is pretty, um, which is why I originally liked it. But one thing I liked about this planner was they had an area at the top where it's, t it's saying like, I am grateful for, and you would basically, you know, put an affirmation in there or something you're grateful for. So it's already starting you off in like this positive note. Um, and then it has like different sections. So the main section I like is where it says like, you must get done today. So basically I've always heard this thing about like, you know, what's the top three things that you need to get done? Of course you want to get the other things done, but just focus on the top three and focus on like, you know, at least getting those things done. And you know, of course you congratulate yourself of, you know, sticking to your guns and not procrastinating. And then it has your to-do list. It has like the area for your notes, area for appointments, meal tracking. And one thing I didn't notice right away, but it's at the bottom, like very small. It gives like a little like quote by different people. They have like Charles Dickens. Um, they have Jen Austin, Mark Twain. So I thought that was really cool. So I definitely use this because instead of trying to remember what you have to do for today, um, even if it's like the smallest things that you really need to get done or things that you've been procrastinating on or, you know, um, things like that, it really helps to just organize it and write it down. Like, cause like if I'm talking to myself, I'll have like 20 things I need to get done, but I'm like, okay, well, Angela, let's be like realistic. What are the three most important things you need to get done? Or what are the things that you're maybe going to forget? Although they're on your phone on a little reminder, but you're going to snooze it. So stuff like that. So this definitely helps me. And I keep this open, like really at my desk um, to help me remember. So another one, this is more of a spiritual um, book as well. This is Breath as Prayer by Jennifer Tucker. This was a gift from my cousin, my sister cousin. Um, this helps calm anxiety, focus your mind, and renew your soul. That's what it says on the front. <laughs> but it actually is true. So this is one of my favorite books. It, like, I love this book so much, y'all. I started taking, like, little notes and pen and pages. It, like, look. And I highlight as I go. Like, this book has helped me out, um, so, so much. So basically, it's basically like meditation in prayer so it's spiritual meditation um i never could really get down with just meditating and just really sitting there saying other stuff or saying nothing so for me this works so this book teaches you you know once again the science of it but it also teaches you the spirituality of it and it teaches you how to breathe while saying the prayer um it also explains how it helps with you know your spirituality it helps with your anxiety um it's really great and so as it gives you you know a whole passage to read it then gives you what you're going to you know repeat whether it's in your mind or out loud um you know your the part of your uh prayer um and the prayer is really like a part of a scripture um and it also gives you know the scriptures and stuff at the bottom as well so but this book is amazing Whenever I am down or I'm struggling or I'm, you know, just I'm hanging on by a thread. <laughs> and then, of course, even every day. This is like one of my everyday books. I try to do this every day. And I notice when I do skip it, it just, my day does not start off right. And so this is a great book. I did bring a bonus. So this is not a book, but this is a prayer box. So this is cute. I've actually had this for years now and it has cards in here and you can write down your prayer. So it's kind of the same thing as my other prayer book, but you can, this is just like a free write. You write down your prayer and then it also has prayers on the back. So the prayer on the back is like a prayer for forgiveness. And then this one is, says, you know, Job's confession. So it is different scriptures on the back. Like this is so nice. I love these. Um, they're really nice and I've always 
um, looked back at them and I would like, you know, like read my prayers and stuff like that of whatever I wrote. And but I think this is like, this is, I think my second or third box. Um, but yes, it's really nice. And I definitely really write it when sometimes I just can't figure out the words to say. And then sometimes when I write, it just flows for me. And But I thought this was so cute. This would be also a good gift for someone too. I think it's like really adorable. And but so just going back to, like I said, those books, like journaling, it helps with your mindset in the morning. It helps shift your whole morning attitude, even if you're on the good foot, like get on a better foot. It really does help. Um, I have been doing it and then I notice when I don't do it, like even if you don't do all, of, of course, all of those journals, no, like, don't be like me. Just start with one and then see how that goes. Start with that one journal, you know, journal, like dedicate at least like a month and then before you try to add another one. And so, and then if there's different types you want to do, of course, do that. So they have gratitude journaling. They have, you know, your spirituality journey, journaling. Um, they have, let me see, like positivity journaling. They have affirmations. Um, they have like creative uh, journaling. You know, it's just, it's so much. It just depends on what your, you know, higher self journey is. And so you basically just align yourself with what you're working on and find a journal for it but i hope you guys really, really like this let me know of some journals or anything like that below i am definitely looking for more i love to um just explore things that really help me with my higher self journey don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video if you do like content like this thank you